During the French advance on the 14th and 15th of June, the Prussian general, General Gebhard Blücher, was attempting to enjoin his army with that of the British Duke of Wellington. Now, Napoleon personally moved his army to prevent this. And on the 16th of June, Blücher deployed his army of 84,000 men and 224 cannons on a long front along the Ligny and Rye Brooks and throughout the towns of Ligny and Saint-Armand. Now, the countryside around here uh, was marshy, and it consisted of fields and orchards and farmsteads and woods. And there were four bridges that crossed shallow, but pretty steeply banked brooks. Within the ten towns, the walled gardens, the streets, and the homes would provide cover for the Prussians, and Blücher initially posted himself atop a tall mill where he could observe the battle. Now, Napoleon fielded about 68,000 men and 210 cannons, and he wouldn't field his army until 2 p.m. that afternoon, and, and his plans were to envelop Blücher's right flank with the aids of his subordinate commander, Marshal Ney. If he was successful, he could destroy two-thirds of the Prussian army. Unfortunately, at this time, Ney was busy to the northwest at the simultaneous Battle of Quatre Bras, which we'll also cover here. Napoleon concentrated his attacks on the villages of Ligny and Saint-Armand, and the first frontal attack against Ligny failed. Further, better supported attacks were somewhat more successful, but every time the French captured the eastern part of the village, they were pushed back by the Prussians. After taking heavy losses, the French were able to take and hold Saint-Armand. Napoleon felt that his plan was coming together as Blücher sent battalion after battalion up against the French, who cut them down with their artillery. Eventually, Blücher's reserves were exhausted, and he began to move his men to his western flank, pleasing Napoleon, who was waiting for Ney to arrive and just crush them. However, Ney was not going to arrive. Napoleon personally led his elite old guard and attacked the Prussian line at 7 p.m. The Prussians broke and fell back, and Blücher also personally joined the fray. During the fighting, his horse was shot out from under him, and he lay trapped underneath it while French troops rode over him at least twice, and during this time they did not recognize him. At nightfall, he was rescued and helped from the field by some of his aides. Also at nightfall, at around 9 p.m., the Prussians were withdrawing from the field. Due to the constricted terrain, however, the French were unable to effectively overtake the defeated army, and several rearguard skirmishes hampered their pursuit. Typical of Napoleonic battles, casualties were very high. 16,000 Prussians were killed or wounded, and nearly 10,000 deserted in the coming days, while 11,500 French were killed or wounded. Napoleon was satisfied with the outcome as he blocked Blücher from reaching Wellington, and he still had two free corps to battle with. While the Prussians were defeated, they were not destroyed, and would effectively attack Napoleon's right flank at the Battle of Waterloo two days later, leading to his defeat. If Ney had been available the day of the Battle of Ligny, then Blücher's army would probably have been destroyed, and both Waterloo and Napoleon's campaign would have turned out much differently. We've got the Battle of Ligny set up here, and... We can see the French here on the south side. The Prussians are on the north side spread out. The town of Ligny is down here towards the center, and Saint-Armand is over here to the left. Now the uh, goal of the French is going to be to push up and try to take both of those towns, pushing the Prussians back and inflicting as many Prussian casualties as possible. So victory points in this. Uh, Real quick, the Prussians will demoralize when they lose 50 uh, strength points, and they will disintegrate at 74 strength points. The uh, French have to win this by losing less than 35 strength points and uh, demoralizing the Prussians. Also, the French will, uh, every turn that they have uh, saint Armand and Linny, they will gain three uh, strength points per hex. You can see the little hexes with the eagle on it that they need to take. I think as a French player, I'm going to try to uh, push up on this flank here, on this um, the French right flank, and kind of I'm going to try to sneak around way over here on the left too. That looks like there's a little bit of space to do that. I've got some uh, fairly fast moving units over here, and then of course I'll I'll push against Linny and uh, Saint Armand. Hopefully, I can kind of do a pincher attack here. The Prussians, I'm going to have to move this back group. There's a kind of a reserve group back here. I'd like to move those over uh, to their left, to the east a little bit, and uh, form a line 
and hopefully keep it together. Now, I do have the advantage of having the stream here that I can stay behind, which should give me some advantages with uh, on the train effects chart. It'll be hard to hold these uh, two hexes of Lenny that are south of the uh, river. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. French go first, and game turn one is at uh, 2 o'clock. So we will start with the French. Um, I don't want to quite push those guys yet. Um, I do want to get away from the edge of the map, though. Let's do that so that we can get away from the map edge. Two, three, four. And like I guess I'm going to try to push up against these guys. Uh, I'm going to try to pin those guys. Yeah, I've got some. I had a. I need a. Oh, here we go. Here's a cavalry unit. So maybe I can uh, use a combined arms attack against these guys here. One, two, three, four. And we will do that. Yeah, we will move a combined arms attack against that 4-4 there in San Armand. And we will try to blast these guys back as quick as we can. We're going to just kind of shock these guys, the Prussians. One, two, three, four. Seven. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need to use these uh, cavalry as keep those guys from getting tied down. San Martin. And actually, let's uh, move this guy up here. Again, we'll try to take advantage of those combined arms attacks. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four. I need to move these guys into place. Okay, and then this kind of reserve unit back here. I think I'll try to move these up into the central place here. There's one, two. Grouchy's back down here. I never thought I would like uh, Napoleonics uh, much, but now that I've been playing it, I'm kind of getting into it. Three, four. Beginning to find these kind of interesting. Two. Not sure how much you guys like to watch me push cardboard, but if you guys would rather. I'm not sure, like I say, if you guys would rather see me uh, speed through these on these playthroughs or go through it and actually just have me moving it in real time. Let me know. I would think you'd rather see them sped up, but that's just me. Okay, I think that's my move. I'm going to go ahead and hit the movement button. Um, that's going to leave a... Uh, Let's go ahead and start with this. This is that combined arms attack down here. So I've got it since we're on the same side of the river, but he's in a town hex, so he gets a double. So he's the Prussians are at an eight, but we got a 10, 11, 12, 13 to eight. 
So it's going to be a one to one odds. Move this over. And it's actually going to be a two to one. So we roll and we get a one. Okay, that's good. It's going to push this guy back and we're going to push him into San Armand. So that's uh, three demoralization points. We'll just count those at the end of the round. Okay, then I get these five, ten to three. We're going to say three to one odds with a four. It's a defender retreat. Oh, no, that's not five, ten to six. It's one to one odds with a four. Um, so it's an attacker retreat. A little bit different there. And then we finally got a four, eight, and five. Let's see. 13 to 4, but 13 to 8 is 1 to 1 with a 2. That's going to push this guy back. That's um, 6 points. And then we've got a 4, an 8, and a 10. 10 to 8, 1 to 1, but it's going to be 2 to 1 since it's combined arms. 5 at 2 to 1 is an attacker retreat. And I think that is... Oh, those guys over here. Uh, 9 to 14. 1 to 2 with a 2. Defender retreat. Okay. And this is going to push these guys back. I will take one unit and move him across the stream. Okay. I think that's it for the French. So the French have done all their movement. It's now up to the Prussians. Prussians are going to... Things have changed a little bit, so a little bit uh, concerned about being surrounded here on this side, so we're going to push some of these guys back to hold the line. And then we're going to try to again move these reserves into the center. Okay, let's start. Let's just work our way across from the uh, left, far left flank over. So let's move these guys into position. Um, again, we could try to do some combined arms to uh, bring these guys down. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, okay. That should almost eliminate that uh, French cavalry unit that just came across. Uh, we'll stay behind the stream here. Don't cross the stream. Three. Okay, and we're going to set up one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, make sure we get that artillery in range. Um, Six. Okay, we can do another combined arms attack down there. Just got to remember it. That's the hard part about those combined arms attacks is just remembering them. Oh, we got another one over here. Four. Okay. And six. And One, two, three, four. Oh gosh, he's got seven, so got a pretty powerful piece of artillery there. And um, I'm just going to move this guy to the center. See where there's any gaps that might be occurring. Um, we'll move him here.
And I'm going to move these guys back. Again, take advantage of the, the terrain. 9 to 4. Move him in here. Kind of take a defensive position. I may have to give up Sam of San Armand. We'll see. Okay, what do we got now? Now then, let's work our way across. We'll stay, keep those guys in place. Uh, everybody's moved. Um, so we got a three, a six, nine, eleven to two, easily six to one odds with a one. So this is going to be an elimination. Okay, we've got a two to five. That is the one downside is we've got a. I should have moved that four to four there. Okay, two to five, two to ten, one to five odds. Charts is a one, one to five. It's an attacker retreat. That's the downside. We're going to have to make attacks across there. So, um. Oh, I'm on the same side of the stream. Okay, but I'm doubled because of, uh, let's see, Towns, our defender double, yeah. So we can hit him fairly hard. So three, six, and six is 12, and 13, 14, 15, 16. Was this combined arms? No, it's not. There's no cavalry there. But three, 16 to... 16, 1 to 1 odds, a 6, okay, attacker retreats, oh, I lost my little eagle, there, this guy and this guy, I will move a unit in, okay, down here it's combined arms, uh, I've got a 7, and a 9 is a 16, 17, 18, and 6, 24 to 5, so 5 to 1 odds with a 6 is an exchange. Ouch. Unit eliminated, and I need to lose 5. What do I got for a 5? Okay, I guess I'll lose a 4 and a 2. Okay, 4 to 10, 1 to 3 odds for attacker retreats. I'm going to move in here. Hex control French. Oh, wow, that's kind of nice. Let's change those little French flags. That's pretty cool from Prussian flags. Some of these uh, vassal modules are just amazing. Okay. Prussians are going to fight an 8 to 10, 1 to 2, and a 1. So defender retreats. And then clear over here, we have a four, five, six, seven, fourteen, and five is a nineteen to two, six to one, easy. As long as we, ah, I said as long as we don't get an exchange, but we did. Those exchanges are vicious. Okay, Persians have lost eight. And the French have lost nine, and then the Prussians have eight and three, six, nine, twelve, so twenty. Actually, the Prussians are already getting close to, well, halfway towards getting demoralized. Okay, that is the end of round one. Let's go to round two. Okay, French have done pretty well that turn. So we're going to have to, they did get kind of blocked off here on the left. I think I'll change things up and try to move in just a little bit uh, so that we don't get uh, forced off the map. A retreat there would be bad. Uh, continue to push on San Armand and reinforce Linny. Um, hmm. I could attack right towards the strong point, but that's going to be sort of pointless. So let's reinforce Lenny. Let's put some artillery there. I can't use the artillery to shoot over the town, but I can at least shoot on the flanks. 
and we'll just kind of continue to hold the line over here on the right. So we need to move these guys. I'm going to split these guys out. So artillery is going to go up to Lenny. These uh, cavalry units are going to go over to Boignet. Move everybody in from Flores. Okay. Let's uh, split these. These really aren't hurting anything here, so I'm just going to split my line up a little bit. Four. Don't need to really attack those guys. Ah, come on. You're getting stuck there. Um, we'll get a... Oh, wow. Those guys are pretty powerful. Let's uh, get that guy there. And some... Oh, that guy's right there. Okay. We're just going to build a line up. Uh, Grouchy will, or Grouchy, will... Uh, And Grishy was actually kind of, I know, he kind of got the wrong end of the stick here. I don't think he was nearly as bad a general as Ney was, but he wasn't great. But it sounds like he got a lot of the French were mad at him after the war. I don't think he was a traitor, though. All these guys tended to move out too late in the day. That was one thing they were probably bad about doing. Okay, he can. We're going to get him across the stream so he can. And. Mm. One, two. Man, I'd like to get this guy. I'll get him in place up there. Okay, I've kind of uh, moved everybody around. It looks like we've got pressure put on Saint Armand. I've got some up at Wagnally. And uh, I'm leaving uh, Bellatre open. And Boigny I'm leaving alone. Okay, French have moved. Let's see. Let's work our way across here. Two to four, one to two. I don't think it's going to make... Actually, it's going to be one to four. Not going to be any different there. So let's start over here. We've got a four. I'm going to go against this artillery unit, this horse artillery. So four to three. One to one odds. Two is going to be a defender retreat. At least it drives him off for the day. And then we're going to concentrate fire down here on this guy here, too. Now, he's going to count us four because he's being fought across the stream. So we've got a, a six and a five and a six is a 12, 17, 18, 19, 20, 26. Um, easily six to one odds. Two. Okay. A unit eliminated. And I'm not going to advance. Okay, five to four, one to one odds. Four attacker retreats. That's okay. We've got a three, and that's an eight, and a thirteen, and he's in town, so his eight is a sixteen. So it's going to be one to two odds, but it ends up being one to one since we have combined arms and a six that drives us back. Okay, up here we've got a. Nine, 
and 11. So we've got a 20 to a 6. Is he in town? Yes. Okay, 20 to 12. So 1 to 1 odds. 3 pushes him back. And that's it. No losses for the Prussians that time. Interesting. Okay, Prussians can move. We will going to do our up. Oh, we'll do combined arms there. We're going to have to move him. He's got to move across that uh, ridge line, or he's not going to be able to fire the that uh, artillery unit. Ah, do we dare? Do we dare? Okay, one, two, three, four. Well, let's try it. This is going to be kind of crazy, but we're going to try to uh, get around that guy. One, two. We'll stay back. And move around a little bit so we can take advantage of avoiding those ridge lines. Uh, Okay, let's try to surround these guys. And there we go. I think the Prussians have moved. I've We're kind of enveloping them a little bit, it looks like. We're going to try to knock off these isolated units out here. Uh, let's, again, start over on the Prussian left. And we're on the same side of the stream. Now, I'm going to have to have these guys attack down on that artillery unit. Um, I'm going to attack with them first because... I can try to surround him if I can if I can knock that artillery unit back a little bit. So I get a six against a two, but that's a four, so it's a one to one. Aha! That's exactly what I wanted. We'll move that uh, infantry unit across the stream. Okay, and then I've got a three, six, seven, eight to three, two to one odds with a three, and that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted a defender retreat, and that eliminates that unit. Okay, we move over here. We have a six, and I'm going to use my artillery with them. So six, seven, eight, nine to five, ten. Actually, I'm not because that's going to be one to two odds either way. Hold on. No, nope, it's not an infantry unit. I should have moved an infantry unit in there, and I could have taken advantage of combined arms. I'm going to take it one to two. Two. One to two. Defend or retreat. Yeah, that's not bad. I'll stay on the same side of the stream, though. Now then, we're going to try to get this guy out of uh, Linny. Um, I've got an eight and a uh, five. So it's a 16 to an eight. So it's a two to one odds. And I got a one, so I knock him back. Um... We'll have to go back across the stream, and we will go back in here and change our hex control. Okay, down here. Um, I'd rather knock this guy back out of San Armand, so I'm going to concentrate my fire on him. Because uh, of the soak, I've got to attack this guy here. Um, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, two, 
22. So that's a 1 to 3 odds. 6. Attacker eliminated. Ouch. Okay, so those guys are gone. And now we're going to try to... 4 and 6 is 10 and 19 to 10. So 1 to 1 odds. 4. Going to knock me back. And this is going to displace that artillery unit. Okay, that wasn't too successful, but that's okay. I've got a five, a 13 to 10, one to one odds, and a one. That's ex okay. So we are mopping up with those guys. Um, more French losses. I've got a. Let's start with this one here. Uh, I've got a six to eleven to twenty-two. Six to twenty-two. Okay, I'm going to have to add the seven to it. Ah, shoot! No, I lost my combined arms there. I think six to twenty-two. That's a one to four odds. I want to avoid that attacker eliminated though. So. We'll take it at one to two and a five. So attacker retreats. That's okay. That's better than the attacker eliminated. So I didn't want to lose those units. Okay. I lost my combined arms attack though. So four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Man, this is fun. Ten to nine. One to one. Two. Okay. Move him across. And we will stay in the town. Who's the most powerful here? Oh, I want to use my four. Ah, get off there. Sometimes these guys really stick together. Okay, I think that's the end of the round. Prussian losses are at 16. French losses are at 22. And the French have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 16 and 9 is uh, Prussian's points are... 25. So they still got a ways to go. Okay, ends round two. Let's go to round three. It's 1600. And what are the French going to do? Well, they're getting pushed back pretty heavily on the left. Things are not looking great on the right either. We can't move. Those guys have pretty much been isolated. Hey, I can take some Alini here. Um, gonna step back and take a defensive stand. Well, we could rush that artillery. Should we try it? Let's try it. Nope, I can't. I can't shoot him with these guys because of that ridge line. Okay. I can get right down here. And. Let's see. Oh, shoot. I had a good combined arms there. Let's see. But these guys, hold on. Hold on, we're getting it there. And these guys are going to move in here. That's where they're going to move. So now we can do a combined arms attack. Um, blast those guys. One, two, three, four. Oh, I want to hold the line over here. I think these guys are all lost cause on the edge. Um, okay, I think we've got everybody where I want to get them. I don't think anybody else can move. These guys are stuck. Um... That's pretty much it for the French movement. Okay. 
Now then, let's go through and resolve battles. Two to four, one to two, two. Uh, one to two, two. Defender treats. Well, at least we got him off of our... There. Okay, moving along here. We've got an eight. Eight to... Uh, Five, ten, one to two odds, a six. Oh, that moves him back. And should I move on in? I don't think I'm going to move forward. Even though I would gain a few points, I think I'm going to get, uh, if I let these uh, Prussians move forward, they're going to just get cut up. So, okay, we've got a four, eight. That's going to be a 16. We've got a 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 with a 6. Attacker retreats. Okay, he moves back. I should have taken it now. Okay, we're going to move him across the river. And take the point. Um, a 6 and a 5. Is an 11 to 7, so 1 to 1, and a 3. Defender retreats. Okay, I can deal with that. Um, I'm going to get brave and move in. going to try to push those guys back a little bit. Okay, because I think I'm going to be able to knock these guys back. Okay, 6, and I've got a 10. And a 9 is a 19. 24 to 6 is a 4 to 1, but it's going to be 5 to 1 because of combined arms. So 5 to 1 with a 6. Ah, an exchange. Um, What do I want to lose here? Well, I'll lose the 4. And you can lose the 4. Move him back. Move him back. Okay. We've got a uh, 8. And 10 is 18 to 8. So 2 to 1 odds. 1. That'll push him out of town. Change hex control. Change hex control. So San Armand is under control. And then we've got a uh, 9 and an 11. So we've got a 20 to it. I think it's an 8. Oh, yeah. That's an 8. 20 to 8. 2 to 1 odds. 3. Okay. He's pushed back. And I'm not going to. Push forward here. Yeah. What am I thinking? I'm going to push forward there. Yeah, that's he's in a really good spot there. I'll let them come to me. Okay, that's it for the French movement. They did uh, make a little bit of advance on Saint Armand. Uh, they're also really open to being surrounded right now. Okay, let's go with the Prussians. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's not going to do it. There. That should do the trick. Um, that guy will move there. Again, a combined arms attack. Um, Kind of a tough spot to hit there. Um, I think I'm going to hold off right now. He's fairly strong in there. And also capable of some combined arms. So we're going to stay put. Um, three, four, four, four. One, two, three, four. So he can't quite make it in there with his stronger units. 
Everybody's tied down here. But one, two, three, four. Anybody with uh, any cavalry here? Yes. Okay. Hey. Okay. There we go. I think I'm going to... The Prussians are going to try to take back San Armand. And we'll start over on the left. So we've got three... And four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's five to one, but it's going to be six one with combined arms. So six to one with a four. That would eliminate this guy. Ouch. Okay, we've got a two and a four. Five, six, seven to four. One to one, but it's going to be two to one with combined arms. Four. It's a defender retreats. And then over here. He's going to go after this guy. So four, one to one, three, knock him back. Okay. Uh, oh, this guy is surrounded. So we're going to give four, eight, 11 to 11 to 11, one to one. It's not going to make it two to one with this nine, so that's not going to help him out any. So we're going to go with the one to one and a two. Ouch! Ouch! That's a defender retreat, which that eliminates this guy. And then nine, ten, eleven to six is two to one odds. No, one to one. I'm sorry. Three defender retreats. Um, we'll come down here. And let's attack first of all with these three against this guy here, and then we'll do this four to four. So we've got a four, a seven, and an eight. So a 19 to 16. So one to one odds, and it's a five. Attacker retreats. Well, they don't all work. And then a four to... 20, 1 to 5 odds, 1, okay. One to five, oh, attack or treats, okay, there we go. Okay, then we go over here, and we've got a, let's do attack these guys first, so they have 11, are they in a town? Yes, they are, 22, wait, okay, yeah, we can combine arms, so 22, and they've got a 6, 7, 8, 9, is a 16 so it's one to two it's going to come out to be one to one odds and a five attacker retreats well okay and finally we've got a four a seven to nine that's going to be doubled so they're 18 so one to two odds and a five attacker retreats okay it's the end of the prussian round that's the end of the turn Let's see here. And the French have taken a loss of 39. So the French have taken their losses. They've taken their lumps on this. Um, let's see if we can play this out to be a draw because the French have actually lost the game or they haven't won the game, I guess, because of the losses they've taken. But let's go ahead and see what happens here. Okay, we're in the 1700 turn here. And uh, things are not looking too hot for the French. They've technically lost the battle, or at least uh, come to a uh, stalemate. I'm going to try to bring these two French units. I think I can try to bring them back into line and... So we're going to try to surround the other units here. 
I try to keep them one, two, three, four. Well, okay. No, we want to keep those guys back there. Things are looking pretty shabby for them here. Um, okay, I don't, there's not much else to move here. So let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do here. We got a four and five is a nine and a, uh, what was that again? Let's see, nine and eight, 17 to four um it's gonna be five to one odds because of uh combined arms five to one three defender retreats okay we will push those guys into position here and then we've got a oh they've got a six and five is ten eleven to six one to one, three, okay, push him out of the way. I'm going to go with him having a five, ten to, ten to five, two to one odds, and two to one, five attacker retreats. Oops. Okay. The only other place we can really, uh, oh, we're going to fire on this guy here, five. And nine is a 14 to two, six to one odds, and a five in exchange, so he's eliminated. And uh, since it's artillery, they don't take any heat. Uh, we go with a 14 and uh, 18. And eight is a 26 to eight, so three to one odds with a three defender retreats. We move him back. And that's it for the French, okay? The uh, Prussians will go. They have a little more fun here. So we will do a combined arms there. Uh, And the question is, should I try to move forward against these guys or not? I think I will. At least cross the streams here. I think it's coming to be that time, so... Okay, these guys will go with a three, three to five, one to two. Let's try one to two odds. Chart three, one to two, three, nothing. And then a nine to nine to nine, one to one odds and a one. So it'll, I'm not, that won't affect those guys any. I don't know why I played that one out. Okay. We've got a eight to six, one to one odds there with a three. Uh, pushes him back. And I will push him into position. The more I can crowd these guys, the better. Um, is there a village there? No. Okay. Six. And 10 is 16, uh, 16 and five is 21, 21 to 11. So it's gonna be one to one odds, but since it's uh, combined arms, it's a two to one 
For two, it's a defender retreat. They don't have any place to retreat, so they've been surrounded and eliminated. And then we've got a four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, to nine, one to one, five. Attacker retreats. That's okay. And then finally in the middle. An eight to fourteen, eight to uh but they double it, so eight to twenty-eight, one to four odds, three attacker retreats. And I'm gonna move him into position here. Nope, I'm not. That's not a good place. Okay. Okay, combined arms here. We've got a eight. Oh wait, this guy's gotta go. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve to ten, one to one, six, attacker retreats. Oh, that's not that's gonna hurt me. So that just pushed him out, so the combined arms will no longer be affected there. Eight, two to one odds, four, pushes him back. And then finally down here. Um, let's do this one, middle one here first. Two, four, five, six, seven. Seven to four, one to one. So it's two to one odds at two. Pushes this guy back. And then we've got a five. Six, seven, eight, two to one, but it's a three to one, two, defender retreats, and now we can go two to one, one, okay, this guy's retreated here, so. So basically the French have been pushed back this round a little bit. Uh, we go to 1800. Uh, the French are going to go. What can the French do? I think I'm going to just have an all-out French attack. See what happens. Um, Let's see, and stick those guys, move him into position. Hmm. Okay, the French have kind of have moved a little bit. Let's just uh, take a... So we've got a 6, 12 to 6, 2 to 1 odds, and a 6 attacker retreats. We've got a... I'm going to do a combined arms against this 4 here. So we've got a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 to 4, 2 to 1. That'll be 3 to 1 odds, 6, and that's a... A three, three to one's a attacker retreat, and four to five, one to two odds, two. Okay, we go here with a okay, we got a nine. We're going to go 10, 11, 12, 13 to 5, 2 to 1 odds, 1 pushes those guys back. I've got a 14 to 8, 1 to 1 odds, 5 pushes this guy back, and then a 4 to 
Seven. One to two odds. Four pushes him back. We've got a ten and six. Sixteen to eight. Two to one odds. Two pushes him back. And I'll stay stuck on him. Five. Nine. Nine and eight is seventeen to four. That's uh, going to be five to one odds with a three. Five to one at three. Defender retreats down here. We're just pushing him down the map. Okay. And we then move to a Prussians. Time to Russians will move into position here. Okay, impressions have moved into position, and they are going to go with a, here we've got a three, and a four is a seven, and five is 13, 17, 18, 19, 20, so it's a six to one odds, one eliminates this guy. We'll go two to one odds, three sends that guy back. We will go five to, let's go five, two, 12, one to three odds, five. One to three, five is an attacker retreat. We've got, uh, one to one odds and a one, so the defender retreats. And then we've got a five to three, one to one odds, a three, defender retreats. And then a eight, nine, ten, eleven, two to one odds, a one, defender retreats. Okay, this guy up here, we've got three. Six, nine, ten, eleven. Wait, three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen to nine. One to one odds. And a five. Attacker retreats. If it would have been a defender retreat, he would have been eliminated. Okay. Eight to fourteen, twenty eight. One to four. Three. Attacker retreats. We'll move him back. And then over here. Eight. Eight to six. One to one. A three. Defender retreats, which is what gets us where we want. We've got a five. And a nine and a four so 18 18 to 10 is this a okay combined arms 18 to wait 5 10 that's 20 because he's in a double area okay 20 so 18 to 20 is one to one odds and a three oh, okay that's uh gonna be the elimination of him six Another, uh, this is another combined arms. Six, seven, eight, nine, and seven is a 16 to eight, two to one odds. 
but it's going to be three to one, and that's a two, sending him back. And then four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven to nine. One to one odds, and a one, and that's going to send him back. And that is pretty much going to be game. I think all we're going to do is mop up. The French have lost 73 units, so we're basically just mopping them up at this point. Um, I think eventually these two sides will be able to do a em double envelopment and eliminate the French from the field. Again, if they would have had... Uh, Ney would have brought Dorland's troops in... Uh, from Quatrebra and gotten them there. I'm sure things would have been a little bit different for Napoleon at this point, but this uh, battle turned out to be pretty unlucky for the French. Anyway, that's what I've got for the day. I'm going to continue to do this series of games. Uh, next uh, week I'll be doing Wavre, and then the, the Belle Alliance, and then finally I'll do the uh, big campaign game. There's, these are really fun games to play. I've really been enjoying them, so... Anyway, that's all I've got for the week. Like I say, I think they're these are a lot of fun. They're pretty simple, and if you want to learn about some Napoleonics, it's a great way to go. Anyway, if you like stuff, give me a like. Uh, leave some comments down below. I'd like to hear from you, and I sure appreciate it. I'll see you next week. Bye.